I think it's a sign of the times. 28 years ago when I started in agriculture, we were looked upon as um, third class citizens. Nobody wanted to talk to us. Now, people are looking at agriculture and looking at farmers with a new kind of respect, a new kind of appreciation of what we do. Investors are involved, banks are willing, more willing than before, although there are still a few challenges. So as far as I'm concerned, all in all, I think it's a good development. A top bank like First Bank getting involved in this, as far as I'm concerned, I think it's um, a good development for Nigeria. The potential is, is immense, you know. And I think in the next five to ten years, agriculture will revolutionize in this country. Now, many, many times we hear conversations about how the private and public sector need to form a partnership to ensure that we move sectors forward, especially when it comes to the agri sector of the economy. Much focus has been on that over the past year on the rewards that could come out from private sector partnership. From where you stand, not even just private sector, as the end producer, if I may call you that, you're the one who relates with the farms. How would you describe the nature of private and public sector partnership and the effect it has had on the Nigerian agri sector from where you stand? Um, we have realized in the private sector that no matter how hard you work, if the government does not provide the enabling environment, you are just going to work in vain. It's important, therefore, that we work together. But we all need to understand our responsibilities in the scheme. Government has no business setting up agribusinesses. We have to work with government in areas like research and development, innovation and things like that, creating jobs. So there is a big role for the two to work together. But we need to understand what we need to do as players and focus and commit. The challenge is um, regimes, regimes change every four years. Um, government comes and goes. Agriculture is a long-term play. It's not a short-term play, it's a long-term play. All of us need to understand that and remain focused and committed over the long term. If we do that, we'll achieve tremendous success. Now, of the policies that the government has been talking about over the past year, some newly introduced part of the ERGP, would you say that you, as the uh, end producer, have seen trickle-down effects or ease in the line of your business as a farmer, if I may call you that? Yes. I am a farmer. Yes, we have. I was talking to a group of maize farmers yesterday. For the last, for as long as we can remember, a hectare yields 25 bags, which is two and a half tons per hectare. That is about 20 or 30 percent of what contemporaries in other parts of the world are getting. So there are now farmers that are starting to get five tons per hectare. You know, so that is progress. In the poultry industry, where I have most of my work, we have seen tremendous improvements as well. Farmers in Nigeria that have world-class results from their farms. So there is trickle-down effect in the partnership. But when you're borrowing money at mid-20s, in the mid-20s, when you have infrastructure issues, when you have market issues, value chain issues, it bogs down the industry. And these are the um, problems that fora like this will try and resolve. When I started my companies about 15 years ago, I spoke to many, many banks. I was a young Nigerian trying to create a, a, a company. First Bank at that time was the only bank that gave me a hearing and that actually backed up the talk by giving me an opportunity. Now, things have been a bit difficult, things have been ups and up and down since then, but the reality of it was that they showed commitment and they have shown commitment over a long period of time to agriculture. So I, they, they um, I have earned their position in agriculture and agriculture financing in Nigeria without a doubt. They need to work very, very hard to keep that up.
because there are quite a number of young Turks out there that are working very hard to, you know, um, take up that prime position.